it is more than enough for you to do in the goddamn house than to be out there resting in peace. And to all them in Chicago. Clean that motherfucker, they been clean since you moved in. And that's on that. It's time for the Homos Talk Show. You already know who it be. It's your girl, Jerry. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Troy Weeks Music. It's your boy, Darrell Antonio Tremaine from the Library Live. Have unapologetically Audra, honey, and super sassy Sinette. That's cute. I woke up like this. Okay, be honest. I woke up like this. Cooking to tour Atlanta, where cooking is definitely sexy, but we got a great show packed for you today. You know, whenever I come through, I'm coming with a read. We did have a little extra. Awesome. Yes. Actually, actually, who's taking over the extra is Audra. Um, so the extra is going to be this, Audra. You ready for this, girls? Are you ready for it all? Some I state. <laughs> so, you know, I, I stay ready, so I ain't got to be ready. What's up? I know. I get it. So, some states are reopened, and some states are staying shut down. So basically, that's the topic. That's what we're talking about, your opinion, and what you feel about the opening up and, just, and the staying shut down. We were the last ones to shut down and the first ones to reopen. So I think it's absolutely fucking ridiculous. And I, I'm more mad that people listening to this motherfucker that don't give a shit about you. Kemp don't give a fuck about us. Then you tell me somebody don't give a... And that's what... I'm about to say, girl, listen, shit, let me tell you something. They had a meeting and it was uh, Trump because that's why Kemp kept, kept saying, I talked to Trump and Trump want me to do it. And then Trump threw him under the bus and made him look like an asshole. I don't support him. I don't know why he opened it up because he knew what he planned to do. It was 50 governors there, and they was all giving bids on how many motherfucking niggas they was going to deliver dead for the uh, population cleansing shit that they doing. I mean, something is going on. Like, for real, dog, how you open back up a state that you ain't, we ain't had no cure? Our numbers haven't subsided. They haven't even peaked. We haven't even been... Um, Tested, let alone vaccinated. I don't want no vaccinations. You ain't going to shoot me with shit. But you are not even testing people. Testing is not even available. And we just go listen to them. We want to get out that bad. We can't sit the hell down for five minutes um, in our house with our badass kids that we haven't raised and our <laughs> babies that we haven't loved on. You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously. And you're going to listen to him. He ain't taking his people out. How? Are they not opening tanning salons? How the fuck you open a nail shop and a beauty shop but you can't open a tanning salon? Because that's strictly for white people. They ain't trying to kill white people. They said nail shops, hair, hair salons, barber shops, tattoo parlors. Like, it's a pandemic and you need a tattoo? For real? You can't hold up? I mean, you know, I love my painted up folk. I love it, but goddamn it, you can wait till after we get a cure for this shit mm-hmm. <laughs> and stay in the house. And there's so many people that are asymptomatic and black people are because our immune systems are a little higher than our pale counterparts. So we're going to go out, carry it, bring it back home to grandma and them and the little kids and kill up everybody. And then when we kill up enough niggas, then we'll, they'll, clo- they'll close it back up and open it back up and shit. And then we're going to be wanting to cry and protest and call Jesse. His ass will be dead by then. But anyway, what the fuck? Wake <laughs> right. yeah. up. Stay woke. Motherfuckers with stay woke hats on out there in the mall. Oh, yeah, you better come on, speak the truth. You're going to be the new Jesse. I'm going I'm to I'm get there in a minute. We're going to talk about this later. But at the end of the day, I had an experience. I saw on Facebook, so I guess they was in Chicago. I don't know where they was at. But I saw some mm-hmm. people. It was about 130, 135, 145 Negroes. And one big old house, one big old Airbnb rented. And it was just I mean, just smoking and hanging out. And it was about three people with a mask on. I had about 130, 145 Negroes. And I'm three of them out of mask. That's a problem. First of all, like she said, there ain't no cure for this. And you're going to get up in here, hanging out in the party, and then you're going to go outside to your house and go shed off with your face. Come on. I see you, Audrey. Come on. We're going to talk about that in the end if you sell it. I don't know. Um, so, you know, like, it's important 
to make sure we still stay safe during this time. They're trying to kill us, y'all. She says stay woke. Stay woke is real. It's real. If you don't stay woke, you're going to be one of them zombies also, in the street. Also, they're trying to keep us fucking divided. Don't be fooled. When you at home loving, we making more videos together. We cooking together. We, if we stay together, we going to survive. And the only people we see is just a few people that we love and care about. And we rebuild it. That's the fuck the problem. Y'all all on Instagram and stuff building your families. They like, oh, no, we got to fuck this shit up. We didn't realize that they was going to go and love on each other and build and start podcasts and start concerts and start loving and giving each other. Hold on. We got to break that shit up. We thought the niggas was going to kill each other when they came in the house together. But we fucked around and fell back in love. And now we falling for the okie doke to go out in the street and get this shit they trying to give us and bring it back in the house. Keep your ass in the house and keep making fucking TikToks, god damn it. Sit the fuck down for a minute. Let some of them die first for a change. Shit. <laughs> I am a guest. I'm going to try to be happy. <laughs> That's all right, girl. She's she gone. We're going with it. Um, um, Javara, remind me, let's go to Yuri because you're about to take over in a minute. Yuri, what do you think about the uh, COVID-19 and, and states opening and states closing? You live in Georgia and you know that's the first state to open up um, officially. officially. Um, well, I think I think it is a setup. Um, you know, it is a setup because they 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 are being very slow with the stimulus um, for a lot of people and stuff. And they they know that if you go out there and you get sick, most of the people who cannot make it to the hospital are people who don't have insurance and don't have money. They live in impoverished neighborhoods. So if you go out there and get sick, that's one less person that the government has to keep on food stamps and you know, so I, I think I, I think they that this was just mighty convenient, you know, because it's like now everybody needs unemployment, everybody needs food stamps. Every, and it's like, well, at least after this is all said and done, we don't have to worry about these people because they've already been riding the system for so long. So I, no. I, I think I think it's I think it's all strategic, and I'm definitely um you know gonna agree with my sister on that or whatever. But got you. Thank you for your appreciate it for real. And Darrell, what do you think about this? What do you think about a this? mess, a fucking mess? And I seen the Chicago story, and I was just like, it had to be us. It had to fucking be us. And when I say us, you know what I mean when I say us. Just all the I mean jerseys and. Timberlands, like you said, three masks and all these people and this fuck social distancing just throw it right out the window. We shoulder to shoulder in this small ass little space. I was like, really? Governor of Chicago, she, her hair is gone, falling out. She trying to figure out what the fuck she gonna do with these people as if Chicago ain't got enough shit to worry about. Now y'all motherfuckers ain't social distancing either. Y'all making it easy for the boys to take us out. You making it so easy. Stay your ass in the house. Listen, I've been furloughed from my job since the 11th of last month. I'm an extrovert. I love being outside and out with people. Maybe driving me slightly crazy sitting in here, but I ain't dead. Right, right. Oh, you're alive. Hell yeah, right. It's not that hard, I promise. I've been able to do like like we all doing. We're content creating. And we're making, like, we learning new shit. We taking webinars and shit. It is more than enough for you to do in the goddamn house than to be out there resting in peace. And to Clean all them in Chicago. Clean that motherfucker. <laughs> ain't been clean since you moved in. And that's on that. Clean that bitch. <laughs> all y'all girls in Chicago, I just would like to just send you peace <clears throat> on your way to rest. Because all you motherfuckers is going to rest while y'all up in that house shoulder to shoulder like that. I was so embarrassed, and I don't even live in Chicago. Sad. You read about this that. I'm glad we all seen it. This Everybody running around talking about it. Stay woke. Um, lose some weight. Um, do those projects that you ain't never done. Um, all those things that you, said that you couldn't do because you work too much. Fuck <laughs> on that. <laughs> All that good shit. All of that. Yes. So, so ain't like nobody gonna we, clock out the rest of it coming. <laughs> oh, I did, but nobody caught it, but it's fine. It's okay. You catch it tomorrow. We play. We, we won. Um, I'm just saying, you can perfect, perfect your art, goddamn it. Shit, it's some shit you did. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm, I'm change I'm, with your body you ain't know about, goddamn it. Get to know yourself. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. all the way. By yourself. You won't catch corn TV. You, you won't catch the corona. Like, I'm just focused and I'm like, Ooh. what you say? <laughs> Ever since um this pandemic and being locked up, I guess since I'm just focusing on actually eating right and it, like my titties have grew, like my hormone medicine is working so much better. Like, like, cause you sitting your ass down, giving it a chance to work, bitch. Shit, you been in the streets all the damn time. <laughs> right, every Monday night, dipping and swirling. <laughs> Dipping and throwing. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. the shit can't even stick. It, it just be the shit in your body like this. Now it's. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, y'all. This is almost to y'all.